So, why do these dunes form? Clearly they're basically the same thing as ripples uh, that you would see in, uh, in the water or in the sand underneath the water. Um, and then the ripples, you know, grow larger. We can view it like that, just big ripples. Um, and we saw earlier, uh, in an earlier video, that it's kind of scale invariant, that on these dunes there are little micro dunes or ripples. But why do we get that kind of, this kind of pattern in the first place? Um, I'm not sure it's entirely clear, uh, the mechanisms, but it seems like it's got to do with, uh, as the sediment is moving, or the water, say in the case of a water wave, um, there are initial irregularities, either in the wind, maybe eddy, eddy currents in the wind, a uh, little swirling motions in the wind, or irregularities in the topography of the ground. And that's what initiates uh, differences in the wind velocity, the, uh, the driving force really, small differences um, across the, the ground, um, which means differences in the ability to move the sand or the sediment. And uh, so you end up with collections of sediment where there's, um, where the wind is less strong. Um, and so you get these little accumulations. Now, these little accumulations then will further decrease the wind speed in that, in that general area. And so they'll kind of reinforce themselves. So you start off with kind of small irregularities and then you get this kind of, uh, it builds on itself and builds this pattern. Of wind, of, um, of kind of waves. These are really like sand waves, as it were.